Welcome back guys to another Tesla video. And so far, got a pretty wild vid for you guys. It's a little bit different than with the usual video, but of course it's about options. And these guys pretty much bought a ton of leaps. And honestly though, if you guys have a lot of money, don't always buy options out the money. You could always make pretty good money by buying leaps and buying things in the money. This video pretty much going through everything you need to know. So recently, Tesla has been pretty flat. Believe it or not, Tesla seems to really like to be around the low $400. A lot of people keep shorting Tesla, they keep buying puts, they're not really making any money because Tesla is really flat. People who bought calls didn't really make any money either. I think the people that made the most money were the people selling options since the market for Tesla is literally extremely flat for the past two to three months. It's really not moving that much. It feels like the stock is really just taking a break there isn't any sort of a super duper big catalyst. So Tesla is honestly chilling. But in my opinion, long term, in the next couple of months, we could be seeing Tesla going up because of the completion of the Shanghai Gigafactory 2 and also the opening of the Berlin factory around quarter two of 2021. And usually stocks react a few months before the official event. So Tesla stock should start reacting to that kind of stuff maybe in early December or late December. And around that time, if the stock is going up, if you guys have calls, obviously you guys will be making a lot of money. So I found out that the most popular options for Tesla expire on January 15th, 2021. This is honestly pretty interesting because everyone is kind of betting that maybe in the new year or maybe in the next couple of months, we could be seeing a major increase for Tesla. You clearly see the different strike prices from literally a dollar for the call all the way to like thousands and thousands of dollars. There's a lot of people who are buying puts. But what I've noticed is the majority of people are buying calls for Tesla. And the most popular call option for Tesla that expires January 15th, 2021 are these calls right here. It's honestly kind of weird because it's a super duper in the money contract. Tesla's right now is hovering at $415. You would think maybe someone will bet Tesla goes up, maybe betting $500, $600, $700 dollars strike prices. But no, they are buying $80 dollars strike prices. And the really crazy thing is the open interest is the highest I've ever seen, 52,000 open interest, which is the amount of contracts being held in people's brokerage accounts that are not being exercised. The volume is zero. Literally, that means that there is no buying or selling. Trading has completely stopped for this contract because no one is really buying anything and people that are selling it are trying to sell it at a higher price and the guys beneath it aren't really biting. The overall volume is really low. Not a lot of people are touching these options and these options are most likely gonna expire in the money, which is completely fine. They have an opportunity to buy Tesla shares at $80 if it expires on expiration date. And so far, these contracts are super expensive. And you may be wondering, what's the point of buying this many contracts for the $80 strike price for Tesla? Like, aren't they betting that Tesla stock goes up? Well, currently, this is a $1.7 billion bet that Tesla will continue to go up. And betting this much money on this call is just as good as holding shares. If you buy 100 shares of Tesla, you have to spend roughly about $41,000. Whereas for this, you could control 100 shares of Tesla, but you only have to spend about $33,000. So that's roughly about eight to $9,000 off, and you still get to control 100 shares. And the reason why is the Delta. So if you guys don't know what the Greeks are, here's a quick little recap. Delta is pretty much a number where if Tesla goes up a single dollar, this is the amount that the contract will go up. So the contract right now is worth roughly $33,000. If Tesla stock goes up a single dollar, this contract will roughly get about $99.79. If you buy 100 shares of Tesla, which is a lot more expensive, your delta is going to be around one. Means if Tesla stock goes up a dollar, you get $100 because it's one. But for this, the delta is at 0.99. So if it goes up, you get roughly $99.89, $99.70 around that region. So it's just as good as holding shares. But instead of spending a bunch of money buying shares, you could buy these leaps, which pretty much act and move just like stocks, but they're a lot safer and they're way cheaper to control 100 shares. It's pretty smart. So pretty much these guys, instead of spending like $2.2, $2.3 billion to control this many shares of Tesla, 
they could have spent just $1.7 billion to control this many shares of Tesla. It's a pretty baller move, in my opinion. And so far, this is a pretty insane long call. Theta decay is virtually non-existent. Pretty much the market's open flat for Tesla. This contract will only lose like a dollar or something. It's not even that much. And of course, implied volatility is kind of high, but the Vega is super low. So even if implied volatility drops like 70%, this contract wouldn't even move at all. So this is honestly pretty sweet. Pretty much if Tesla goes up $100, these guys would be making a ton of money. This is a pretty safe and long-term bet. And not gonna lie though, people should honestly utilize the leaps way more. You don't have to buy this leap. If you're one of those guys that just wanna you know, buy some Tesla shares, and you don't have that much money, but you wanna have 100 shares of Tesla, you would pretty much buy these. And the overall you know, creeks for this contract is pretty decent. If you check it out, the delta is 0.95, meaning that Tesla goes up a single dollar, this contract will get $95 which is not that bad, especially you're only paying what, like half the price to control 100 shares of Tesla. It's really worth it, trust me. And so far, if you check out Tesla, in my opinion, they're a really long-term hold. I wouldn't really be surprised if these guys will be going into deeper leaps. I feel like people are buying leaps for 2022, 2023. It's a really popular stock, especially how Tesla is leading the EV industry. And this is a really crazy $1.7 billion bet but it's a very safe $1.7 billion bet. The thing about buying these leaps is you try to sell them, it's kind of difficult since the volume is super low. When you buy these leaps, you're gonna be holding these for the long term. And the cool thing about leaps that are super in the money like the ones we saw, well, even the market does go down like 50 bucks, they wouldn't really lose that much money. Whereas if you bought calls out of the money and Tesla stock goes down, you're about to be seeing a 50 to 70% reduction in your portfolio, which is absolutely painful. And so far, Tesla is also researching heavily on autopilot. We're getting more and more catalysts laid on top of Tesla. I mean, autopilot's phenomenal. Stock market isn't reacting to it. Future robo taxis, market isn't reacting to it. You got the Shanghai Gigafactory 2, record sales next year. The markets are not reacting to Tesla stock. It just stabilized at around $400. It just feels like the stock is no longer as volatile as before. And last but not least is the Gigafactories. You got the Austin Gigafactory. It's gonna be fully operational. They already got a bunch of orders for the cyber trucks and the semi trucks, which Austin will be cranking those out. Then you got the Berlin Gigafactory, which will make the Model 3s and Model Ys, and the Shanghai Gigafactory 2, which will make the Model Ys, and it's becoming more and more popular. Tesla is a major powerhouse. Don't bet against Tesla. I feel like these leaps are honestly one of the smartest things I've ever seen. It's $1.7 billion, but it's a very safe $1.7 billion bet that Tesla continues to rise up. It's in the options department. It's pretty crazy. They're like, screw shares. Why not get leaps? They act just like regular shares. And the crazy thing is, I have a feeling that only a few people purchase that specific strike price since the other strike prices have very, very little open interest and once again, these leaps have no volume, which no one is really selling and no one is really buying it. Thanks for watching, guys, and comment below.